Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Happy Monday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever tried to win the approval of people who don't like you? Uh, you know, they, they just don't think anything of you. They're not for you. They're, they're really for you to fail. I mean, I tried in high school because I wasn't popular and I tried to hang out with popular people and just got humiliated. I, I tried when I first came to Calvary as pastor and it's a little church and I just believed I could win everybody over and it took me a while and a lot of failure to find out there's some people you're never going to win over. Well, uh, look, some people are against you and they're always going to challenge you to prove who you are and that you mean what you say. And I know they're going to do it to you and me because they did it to Jesus. Matthew chapter 16, uh, beginning at first verse says, And the Pharisees and Sadducees came, and to test Jesus, they asked him to show them a sign from heaven. And he answered them, When it is evening, you say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, you say, It will be stormy today, for the sky is red and threatening. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. So he left them and departed. Uh, look, the Pharisees and Sadducees, they wanted a sign from Jesus to prove that he was Messiah. And he'd already given them signs. I mean, Jesus had healed people. He'd healed the blind, he'd healed the lame, he, you know, he'd healed the lepers. He'd cast out demons out of people. He'd fed the multitudes at this point in his ministry two times, the 5,000 and the 4,000. I mean, so, you know, they hadn't been there when he walked on water and all the other cool stuff that he did. But he's already, you know, been drawing multitudes to come to him and he's performed the signs and they wanted him to still prove it. They didn't believe in him. They weren't for him. They were just trying to manipulate him and trying to be in a place where they could control him. And Jesus said, no. The only sign you're getting is the sign of Jonah. Now, earlier in Matthew, he says, the sign of Jonah is this, for three days and three nights, uh, the Son of Man will be in the belly of the earth as Jonah was in the belly of the whale. And he's talking about his death and resurrection. That's the sign they're going to get. And, and if you read to the end of the book, they discovered that he actually rose from the dead and they still didn't believe in him. So um, Jesus said no. He get the sign of Jonah and then he walked away. He did not try to convince the people who didn't believe in him. So Jesus has proved himself to me and you. Ultimately, through his death and resurrection and the reality that he changed your life. If you know that Jesus has changed your life, then, then here's what I'm going to challenge you with today. Believe in him. Believe in his word. And do what it says. Because I know if you read and apply God's word, God will change your life. He's already proven it. Have a great day.